<clears throat> when I was in college, um, I was dating Amanda, and she uh, she was really depressed. God, you know, I was really depressed too. I never really, I never really thought of it like that. I always thought of it as she was really depressed and I couldn't handle it. But I was really depressed. It was my soft, my junior year of college. I was living at Dale Terrace at Kent State. And um, we lived right next, there was the buildings, you know, where the apartment buildings, and there were little buildings with like two floors, four apartments, two on each floor. And uh, we, I, I lived two buildings over from her. I moved into that place with a friend, partly because she lived there, but anyway. We lived close by to each other and we did, were dating. And she got really bad really bad and I guess I did too because I, I wasn't able to get through to her and I and I told her I wanted to break up and she lost like lost her mind she was screaming no please don't leave me please please don't leave me like screaming it and I just said I can't do this I can't do this and I walked out and I knew she was gonna attempt suicide she was suicidal she was talking about it and I knew she was going to do it. She'd been erasing her skin, and uh, but I had to get out, and I left. I walked out of the apartment, and um, I was walking away from the apartment, and then I turned right, and I was walking back to my place. And as I was walking out of the apartment, she was she came out the front door and was just screaming, just screaming like someone was stabbing her it sounded like I wasn't and I, I wouldn't I didn't look back I just kept walking and she was screaming please don't leave me and just these guttural screams like so loud like it was echoing the whole parking lot I don't God knows how how many people experienced that but I sure experienced it. I walked back and my heart was beating so fast I just kept walking and she was just screaming and I walked into my apartment and I closed the door and I leaned up against the door and I just broke down and started crying and just slumped down on the door. I just was crying. I, it was... It was so awful. And then I went and I called her ex-boyfriend, Jeff, because he was the only person I wanted to talk to. I talked to Guy a little bit, too. But Jeff, I, I, I wanted to talk to Jeff, because he'd gone through it with her. He knew. And she attempted suicide that night. I knew she would. I believed that she would, but I, I had to make the decision that I can't stay with someone because... because I think they're going to kill themselves or that I can't stay with them because I, I want to help them. I didn't really realize it in those terms at that point. I didn't realize it. I realized it a little. You can't save people. But I realize now, looking back, that leaving is a choice that we make. We don't have to leave. It's always a choice when we do it. We can stay and say what we think. And then I think ultimately that that's the more difficult choice, is to stay and say what we think, and stay and experience it rather than leave and get away from it. That was a painful experience for me. I, I remember it in my mind. Maybe I did look back once because I, I can picture her standing in the doorway. I don't know if I just made... No, I'm sure I didn't manufacture that memory. I must have looked back once. And I just saw her hunched over at the door. Just... Oh my god. And things like this... It's amazing to talk about things like this. It's weird, but it's it's amazing. 
see you.